A brand new flat ride is coming to Alton Towers and construction has just begun on it. Hyperia has had some insane stats revealed to do with the ride and it makes it sound even more crazy than we already thought. And Pleasure Beach Resort in Blackpool have announced the closure of a beloved ride, even though it's technically already been announced. Either way, all that and more has happened this past week in theme parks. Right, the hit series is back once again for another set of exciting updates. Nothing's changed though, every episode is just as exciting as the next. <laughs> what am I on about? There's some interesting things happening in this video and now I'm going to delve deeper than ever before into these stats, news and construction sites. So make sure you watch till the end. And of course if you do go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more TPWITP in the future, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. So then, what to talk about first this time? I actually know for once. The first thing on the list is Blackpool Pleasure Beach or Pleasure Beach Resort or P P Pleasure Beach Lancashire. They have announced the final laps for a beloved ride in the park will be taking place very soon. And no, sadly, I don't mean final laps for the Grand National because, oh my God, I wish that thing was getting RMC. But what is actually leaving the park on the 7th of June is the Grand Prix ride. If you don't know about it, it's pretty much an Autopia style car ride where you sit in a car and drive round. That thing is departing the park. Rest in peace, grand pricks. And the Pleasure Beach are hosting an event to send off this ride in style. They're gonna have supercars there, photo opportunities, commemorative certificates, and a few other things as well. But what's most important here is the fact that the top thing says a final ride around the track. And the reason that's interesting is because the ride is currently dead in the water. There's no cars on the track at all. The track looks dull as if it's going to rot and die. There seems to be no staff training on it or anything, but it just has me thinking, are they really gonna train staff for one lap of this ride? And if you do want to attend, if tickets are still available, then um, 50 pounds will be drained out of your bank account for it. And that is not including your entry to the park. That's quite a pricey event, I think. Either way, it's going to have a very nice send-off, I think. Uh, I mean, I did used to go on it quite a lot as a kid, and I did really enjoy it. So to see it gone, it's such a classic ride, disappearing from the park. What a shame. I will sincerely miss driving past the icon queue, awkwardly trying to keep my eyes forward whilst everyone in the queue is staring at me. But as much as I sound sad about its removal, I've always said that Blackpool Pleasure Beach currently is way too dependent on classic rides and that is fine but when they remove this one we are going to see a massive area opened up a massive piece of land what could go there well we don't know for sure i mean heck they might even try and take back the height record <laughs> can you imagine i'll probably make a video regarding their next coaster very soon so remember to subscribe if you want to see that either way i'm very excited to see what goes in that space and talking of space there is a ride opening in the uk very soon that basically is going to launch you to space with how much airtime it has. And that is Hyperia at Thorpe Park, the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster. Why am I talking about the airtime specifically now? The reason for that is because they have actually released some statistics of the ride. I presume they've got that from the test runs they've been doing. And um, these stats are very crazy. The speed official stat there, 81 miles per hour. I did think it was gonna be a little bit faster than that, but that's fine. Officially, it has two inversions, not three. No, we're not having that Icon Immelman debate with Hyperia. The length of track is 3,254 feet long, which despite being described by a lot of people as a short layout, that is the longest track length in the park. And you need to prepare yourself for this absolutely mental stat I'm about to say. Um, basically, you know the ride's like 30 to 40 seconds long from the top of the lift hill down to the brakes. The ride's gonna have 14.8 seconds of airtime 15 seconds almost you are going to spend out of your seat having airtime on this ride that's bonkers especially with just a lap bar that's going to feel otherworldly and if you want some proof of that here are the timings of the airtime i'm going to use a photo of me and every time i appear the airtime is going to be big here we go down the drop and there you go you're already out of your seat turning around all oh, back in the seat now and then we go up into the emelman the very fast paced emelman out your seat again Oh, look at me, coming up and down from the bottom of the screen. Oh, I'm up again for a while this time. And then you're back in your seat now. They do count hang time as air time on that stat, I think, because, yeah, look, here I'm out of my seat as well. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't know why they count hang time as well, but oh well. And then we go out on our seat again. Round. That was a quick one. And then again here. Oh, so much airtime. But yeah, that is going to be an experience and a half. I'm so excited for that. And guess what else I'm excited for in the UK? That is right. Forbidden Valley and Nemesis Reborn. Yes, because I'm excited when it's already open. Basically, the new area has had various updates made to it when it opened, and it still is getting them now, so if you want to see a few of those updates, link in top right. But something even more exciting has started today. They are starting to construct their brand new flat ride for the area. Known as Project Ocean, we've seen these plans come up quite a few times throughout the year. Um, sort of, we've just seen that area and said please give us a flat ride and then obviously the official plans came out and now we are starting to see construction take place obviously forbidden valley itself does remain open they're not going to shut it off purely because of this they shut a roller coaster last year and then they still didn't close it off so they're not going to do it for a flat ride it is purely this area here that's been fenced off there is still an entire loop you can do around nemesis to get to galactica and stuff it's not that bad. And yeah, it is an active construction zone now. There are workers, diggers, loads of stuff going on currently in Project Ocean site. And we don't even need an observation platform for this one either because we can either go right by the blade, right by the Bunker 94 shop, or even up by Ground Command Coffee. You have so many observation platforms. Operative. Obviously, it is a bit weird seeing this brand new area that's just opened now going back into a construction site. So that's strange. But to be fair, I am not complaining because we're getting a brand new flat ride. Finally. So with them starting now, what is the timeline for this flat ride to be built? Because they've already started work on it and it's not even May of 2024. Could we see this open by the end of the year? Because my god, that is a long time to work on a flat ride. Well, there's two things that could have happened. One, they may have started this extremely early to get a head start and sort of sort things out early. So it's completely finished by next year. And this might just be the head start that they're getting on the par thing and the sort of tunnel they've got to build. It might still open then. However, if they do it quick enough and they get the planning permission, which I'm still not sure if they have, then I genuinely think we may see this new ride up and running by the end of the year. It could be possible. I mean, it is just a flat ride that they've sort of just got a plop there. So I definitely could see that happening too. And talking of the flat ride itself, what's it actually going to be? I wonder what I'm going to say for this one. As I said, these plans were released quite a few months back now and they show quite clearly the plan is to have the ride on top of that tunnel feature. And it's gonna be able to face either way of the pathway and it'll have two theming pieces on the left and right. And like I've said way too many times before, what flat ride fits in that location perfectly? A top spin, because it fits the exact dimensions to the 0.1 meters of height. Although it doesn't fit the width, what can they do there? Those two theming pieces on the side, I think are actually supports for the ride. Call me a prison, because I got bars. But you can literally slot in a top spin exactly in that plan and it doesn't look out of place. Sadly, I think the quest to eat the shoe may actually come to fruition. And the top spin model that works in that location and dimensions isn't a generic both rows facing the same way with a floor type top spin, no. It is the suspended top spin model, like Talakan, or like this one here, or like this one here that looks manic. I would love to see one of them, but it's not certain. It is very cool to see this ride finally happening. We're actually getting a permanent flat ride at Alton Towers. The first time in a millennium. Feels like that long, but I don't think it has been. What do you think this ride will be? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I may make a video soon regarding your guys' speculation on it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Ta-ra!